guess what? Clifford and I are going to a carnival today. Wanna come? Type in your name and we'll be on our way. And when you're all done, click OK. Woof. Great! Let's go to the carnival! Clifford! Come on! There's a carnival in town! Come on, guys! This will be great! Let's go win some prizes! Woof, woof. Step right up! My name is Phineas T. Wordsworth, and my carnival is filled with words and rides and games galore! But oh, how I love words! I'd also love some help, because, well, uh, confidentially, I'm a bit short-handed. I'll help in one of the booths. We'll, we'll help, help, too. Splendid! Then tonight, after the carnival, we'll have a grand parade, the likes of which Birdwell Island has never seen! Come on, let's go! Wait, there's one more thing. <laughs> oh, maybe you can help. You see, I seem to have lost all the decorations for our parade float. We can't have the parade if we don't decorate the float. I'm counting on you to find some decorations. To the carnival! To the carnival! Oh, just one more thing. The parade float is back in the big striped tent with the red flag on top. That's where I'll store your prizes when you win them. Just click on the waving red flag to go there. And don't forget, there's lots of places to explore. You can go off this way or that way. Oh, dear. I guess that was more than one thing, wasn't it? Well, good luck and ta-ta. Phineas could sure use our help. Maybe we could all find some things to use to decorate the parade float. Good idea, Clifford. So, uh, where are we gonna do that? I'm not sure, T-Bone. Maybe we should play some of the games and go on the rides. We might find something there. Always thinking, big guy. Let's go! Come on, guys, let's do it! Do what, Cleo? Go on a ride, play a game, anything. Are my eyes tricking me? Or is that the biggest bone you've ever seen, Cleo? I'd say it's bigger than the biggest. We should check it out. Hmm, where should we go first? Good question, T-Bone. Well, where should we start? Anywhere is good. Ah, I love to make words with Wordy Word Ball. It's as easy as pie. Click on a ball to make it roll. Three balls makes a word. Get rolling. D. Ball two. Oh, it's ball three. Do you know what this one will be? Good dog! Ready for another round of Word Ball? Yeah! Let's go there! I can't believe my nose! <gasps> Ooh, a bone! Can I have some? Enormous! Gigantic! Huge! Go get it, big guy! Uh-oh. Clifford! <laughs> Oh, Clifford. That machine was blowing up the balloons for the parade tonight. Now how are we going to blow them up? <sighs> hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? And I bet you could help. You can do the fixing, and Clifford can do the blowing because he has the biggest, windiest breath on Birdwell Island. So first, we have to reconnect all the hoses on the machine. Just click on the picture on the red side, and then pick its matching word on the blue side. When they're all matched up, Clifford can start blowing. Car. Now see if you can find the word that matches that picture. 
Mop? Oops, that's not right. Car. Right! Mop. Mop. <laughs> that's it! Rat. Rat. Wow, great job! Ready, Clifford? Do your stuff. It's working! Let's help Clifford with the machine again. Try matching these. Pan. Pan. <laughs> yep. Jar. Jar. A match. Log. Log. Great! You matched them all! <laughs> okay, Clifford, start blowing! The balloon is almost full! Good blowing, Clifford! Let's do one more! Try matching these! Rug! Rug! Perfect! Net! Net! Perfect! Hat! <laughs> okay, make it a really big blow, Clifford. <sighs> oh, Clifford, you did it! What a beautiful balloon! <laughs> Congratulations on a job well done. Go ahead and pick a prize, any prize. And these prizes are more than meets the eye. They are just what you need to decorate the parade float. A stellar choice. You can use this prize to decorate your float anytime you want. You'll find it in the big striped tent with a waving red flag on top. Okay, let's blow up another one. Try matching these. See you later. Come back when you want to blow up some more balloons. Anytime you want to decorate your float, click on the red flag on top of the big striped tent. Ta-ta! Let's play a game. All you have to do is click on one. The letters on these ducks are all a mark. <laughs> Here's how you match them up. Click on the ducks until they're all the same letter. D, just dandy. Ready for another round of ducks? Then ready, aim, and click! The Ferris wheel. Let's go! Wow! A Ferris wheel. I've always wanted to ride a Ferris wheel. I hope it doesn't go too fast. <laughs> and my poor Mackie is stuck! Wait a minute. I know exactly what to do. And, amazingly enough, I think Clifford can help! This Ferris wheel runs on word power. And to power it up, we need to fix all the word families. See? This is the am word family. Jam. Ham. Ram. Click on the picture on the car that starts with this letter. Ham. Ham. You got it! Ham. Keep going. Only two more kids before me in line. Okay. Time to find the picture that starts with the letter R. 
R Ram. Ram. Absolutely amazing. Ram. Oh, keep going. I'm almost at the front of the line. Now click on the picture that starts with the letter J. Jam. Jam. That's right. Jam. Finally, it's my turn. Thanks to the Am word family, we're ready to go. Here I come, Machiavelli. Isn't that absolutely amazing, Machiavelli? How about that? You've won another prize. Which one will it be? Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, time to play some more and win some more. Okay, these cars all have og words on them. Let's go, log. Dog. Hog. Okay. Time to find the picture that starts with the letter L. Come back anytime to help power up the Ferris wheel. Gosh, guys. What do you think's in that big old striped tent with the red flag on top? I don't know, T. But we should investigate. Click on that flag. Hey, let's put our canine muscles to the test and try to ring that bell. <laughs> okay, guys, let's not just stand here. Let's pick something to do. Gosh, guys. What do you think's in that big old striped tent with the red flag on top? I don't know, T, but we should investigate. Click on that flag. Are you ready to pitch your strength against the strong but silent E? Hit your hammer on the big red button to turn simple words into silent E words. Your first word is man. Main. You made man into main. Rawr. Care to play the silent E game again? Flex and click. Tub. Tube. You made tub into tube. What a winner. How about another round of strong but silent E? Cap. Cape. You turned that cap into a cape. Good job. That was fun. You want to do it again, or do you want to do a little more exploring? Van. Vane. Silent E made Van into Vane. Ready to flex those Silent E muscles again? You can do it. Just click Can. Cane. You turn Can into Cane. Amazing. Care to play the Silent E game again? Flex and click pin. Pine. Pin became pine. Ooh, nice. Wow. Want to play again or should we do something else? Tub. If only Emily Elizabeth could see that book. We love stories and that's got to be full of the biggest stories ever. Hey, everybody. I'm in charge of the Silly Stories booth. Anybody want to help? Cool. Hey, you can help too. I bet you can make some really silly stories. In this silly story, we'll use some things that start with the letter B. So go ahead and pick two really cool ones, okay? Book. Okay, now click on another picture for your story. Wow, 
you picked a couple of really good B things to put in your story. Okay, now pick a color. Any color for your story. Blue. Excellent. Next, pick a way to travel in your story. Skateboard. Yes! Clifford Sleepover. T-Bone arrived at Clifford's with his cozy sleeping book. He was going to have a sleepover in Clifford's big blue house. It was a mess, so Clifford had to clean it out. He used his tail and swept out a pile of bones, an old bone and a skateboard. He wondered how those things got in there. Oh well, at least there's room for sleeping, he said. Then he snuggled up in his sleeping book and fell fast asleep. The end. <gasps> that was a great story. If you want to hear this story again, click the read button. Or if you want to start over and pick different words to fill in your story, click the erase button. Want to print this story? Just click on the print button. And if you're all done with this story and are ready to pick a prize, click the prize card button. You can click on any word in your story and I'll read it to you. One prize card coming up. We have more prizes every time you play. Go ahead and pick one. Couldn't have made a better choice myself. Okay, let's play. Okay, on to another silly story. <laughs> For this silly story, we're going to put in some things that start with the letter G. So go ahead and pick two, any two. Goose. Great. Now pick another thing you want to put in your story. Grape. I can't wait to see those G things in the story. Wow, look at all the colors. Which one do you want to pick for your story? Ye yellow. Now pick a way to get around. Sled. All right. Clifford's dream. One night, Clifford dreamed he turned into a small yellow goose. He was so small that he couldn't even climb up onto Emily Elizabeth's sled. He was so small that even the smallest grape was too big for him to play with. In his dream, he tried to climb up on top of the grape, but he fell off with a big crash. Then he woke up, and he was very glad he was still a big red dog. The end. Now that was a really silly story. Remember, you can read your story again, erase it, print it, or pick a prize. Or you can click on any word and I'll read it. Stand back, because here comes the prize cart. Another fine prize for another fine job. Excellent choice. Let's play some more. And don't forget to head over to the big striped tent with the waving red flag and use your prize to decorate the float. Let's start a brand new story. <laughs> For this silly story, we're going to put in some things that start with the letter P. So go ahead and pick two, any two. Pan. Cool, pick one more thing, okay? Pig. Hey, you picked some really great things that start with the letter P. Okay, now pick a color. Any color for your story. Purple. Excellent. Next, pick a way to travel in your story. Plane. Great. Hide and seek. 
Let's play hide and seek with a big stuffed pen, said Clifford. <laughs> so Clifford closed his eyes while T-Bone buried the pan in the sand. When it was time to look for the pan, Clifford dug and dug. He found an old purple shoe. He dug up a rusty old plane. He even found a tiny pig, but he couldn't find the stuffed pan. That's okay, said T-Bone. We can find the pan the next time we play. The end. <laughs> that story was so silly. Great job. And now you can read your story again. Erase it, print it, or if you're all done, pick a prize. One prize card coming up. How about that? You've won another prize. Which one will it be? An awesome prize. Don't forget, I'll put it in the big striped tent where you can use it to decorate your float. Cool. Let's make up another silly story. <laughs> Let's make up one that has things that start with the letter C in it. Find two things you like, then click on them to put them in your story. Come back any time and we can make up some more stories. I wonder where the float is. Beats me. But T and I want to check out that big striped tent with the red flag on top. So, uh, what's next, guys? What should we do? I'm telling you, T. That wheel looks pretty good to me. Ready, set, spin! At, back, beautiful! Spin again! At, pat, huzzah! Keep on spinning! At, pat, cute! Bat, hat, cat. How about that? Round and round she goes. Why don't you spin again? What else should we put on our float? Whatever we have. Click on that red flag and let's go. I'm itching to do something. Itching? Hope that's not your fleas acting up, big guy. So we're going to the tightrope? Are you sure, guys? Of course, T. You're gonna love it. Wee! This is fun! If you think that's fun, try this, T-Bone. Wait a minute, guys. I don't know about this. Come on, T. Are you a chicken or a dog? A dog! I guess. <laughs> but how do I balance this thing? Hang tight, T. I know just what we gotta do. Okay, here's the deal. T-Bone definitely needs another ball to help him balance up there. But not just any ball. We need a special one. One with a picture that rhymes with some words I'm gonna say. Then after you find the picture that rhymes with my words, click on it, load it into the cannon, and kapow! Ready, T? Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. It's rhyme time. Click on the picture on the ball that rhymes with bop, Hop, and then click the cannon. Goat. Bop, hop, goat. Hmm, that isn't a rhyme. Try to find the thing that rhymes with bop, hop, mop. Bop, hop, mop. It's all right, you'll get there. 
Another rhyme coming up. Try this one. Cool, pool, tool. Cool, pool, tool. Keep going, T-Bone. You're almost there. Okay, see if you can find this rhyme. Click on the picture that rhymes with fed, head, red. Fed, head, red. One brave dog. How about that? You've won another prize. Which one will it be? Sensational. Let's play some more. Now see if you can click on the picture that rhymes with run, fun. We should find that float and do some decorating. We should find that float and do some decorating. If anyone's interested, I am ready. Ready for what, Cleo? To play a game. Welcome to Wonderful Wacky Whack a Letter. How fast can you whack five letters in a row? That's for you to know and me to find out. First up is the letter U. Happy whacking! Nice whacking! Okay, ready? Because here comes the letter N. Six alive, go for five! Care to take another whack at it? Get ready, go! That's five! Fabulous! My oh my! Here comes the letter Y! Ah, the thrill of whacking a good letter! Get whacking! You did it! Here comes the letter F! Wow! Wanna play again? Or should we do something else? Anything that smells that good has got to be fun. Let's go! Wow! Look at all those cows! I've always wanted to be a rootin' tootin' lassoin' cow dog! So let's round them all up in the cow pen rodeo style! Yeah! Okay, now where's my rope? Oh, ropes won't be necessary. All you have to do is find the cow with the right letter, and she'll move. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, but couldn't we just use a little rope? Oh, maybe later. Now, let's move these ladies back into the cow pen. Let's see. A click on the cow who's wearing the letter F. F. Perfection. Over this way, you big old cow. And the corral empties as the cows head back to the pen. Nice work if you can get it. Get ready, because the cow wearing the letter U is ready to head off to the cow pen. How divine. <laughs> you found the letter U. Okay, cow. Come on back. Ladies and gentlemen, back to the cow pen. An example of fine cow herding, don't you think? Find the cow proudly wearing the letter M. The letter M. Simply divine. Pick up the pace and come on through. Isn't this amazing, ladies and gentlemen? The most inspirational cow herding I've seen in all my carnival days. 
Now let me see. Oh, round up the cow with the letter C. Yes, yes, yes! The letter C. Okay, cow, hoof it. Lo and behold, just look at those cows go. The corral is emptying out. Isn't this exciting? Somewhere out there, there's a cow with the letter B. See if you can round her up. B, yes indeed. Cow dog. Now let's round up the cow wearing the letter A. A. M marvelous. Yeah! Move them on back. <laughs> Moving on and heading on out of the corral. Why, this is cow herding at its best. Never seen better. Only one cow left. Bessie, it's showtime! You go, Cleo! Isn't she amazing, folks? Yes, the poodle's going to ride that wild cow around the ring! Get along, little doggy! Another prize! Which one will it be this time? Couldn't have made a better choice myself. Okay, let's play. Find all of the cows who are wearing the very stylish letter A. A. Okay, let's go. And we can come back any time to herd a few more cows. Gosh, guys, what do you think's in that big old striped tent with the red flag on top? I don't know, T. But we should investigate. Click on that flag. Want to go see that elephant, guys? Huh? Sure do. All we have to do is click. Hey, that dog's almost as big as you, Clifford. Mm -hmm. That's not a dog, T-Bone. It's an elephant. Let's go take a look. Oh. Sorry, Clifford, dear. I can't possibly perform my legendary high dive act without a diving board. Uh, Clifford, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. What a splendid idea, dear. Except for one little problem. We need water in the pool. Well, I suppose we'll have to make use of that elephant. Oh, I didn't see you. Could you do me a favor and we can get this pool filled in no time? See that elephant? He can suck water up in his trunk and spit it out just like a fire hose. So, move your arrow to the water bucket with the picture that starts with the sound. Then, click. That's the ticket. Water level up. Let's keep going. Let's see. Now, click on a picture beginning with the sound B. That. Fine job, dear. One more, and I should be able to dive on in. Let's see. Now, click on a picture beginning with the sound W. Wig. Oh, you do have a way with elephants. And now for my legendary dive. I believe I could do that all day. 
another prize. Which one will it be this time? Amazing! Now that you've won prizes from all my carnival games, head over to the big striped tent and finish decorating that float. Then we can begin the big parade. I'm ready when you are, Clifford. Clifford! Let's see. Now, click on a picture beginning with the sound R. Ram, well done! It's filling! Let's keep it up! All right, dear. Now move the elephant's trunk and click on the picture that begins with the sound Cat! Splendid! Look at that! One more should do it! Let's see... Now, click on a picture beginning with the sound... In Marvelous! Ready, dears? Here I go! Invigorating! How about that? You've won another prize! Which one will it be? Amazing! Now that you've won prizes from all my carnival games, head over to the big striped tent and finish decorating that float. Then we can begin the big parade! Clifford, you make a fine diving board! Oh, Clifford! Hmm. Go ahead and move the elephant's trunk to the picture that starts with R. I wonder where the float is. Beats me. But T and I want to check out that big striped tent with the red flag on top. I wonder where the float is. Yeah! Let's decorate our float. Wow! It's the parade float. Fantastic! Congratulations are in order. Now that you've won all of these prizes, we'll be ready to start the big parade as soon as your float is ready. Click on your prizes to decorate. Then, when you've made it simply spectacular, click over there to start the parade. Ooh, that looks good there. What a great parade float. Very nice choice. There I am again. Yeah, good one. Nice! I can't wait for Emily Elizabeth to see this. The float is sure looking good. That's good! Good one! I like that! Looking good! This is going to be a great float. Well, 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 that is a magnificent float. If you're done decorating, click the sign one more time, and we're off to the Wordy Word Carnival Parade. This is it. It's time for the big parade. Come on, let's go. Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, dogs and elephants, to the colossal, sensational, stupendous Birdwell Island 
Wordy Word Carnival Parade! Wow! Isn't this fantastic, Jenna? I'd say it's absolutely amazing! Hey, how you doing? Thanks for helping out. Good job, dear. Keep going. That's a good little elephant. Whoa! I'm in a parade. Isn't it the best tea? And I gotta say it, I love a parade. How about you, big guy? And thanks to you, it's the best parade Birdwell Island has ever seen. Fantastic! Have you ever seen such a grand parade on Birdwell Island? And your float was spectacular! You did a great job decorating with your prizes. In fact, that was so much fun, you can do it again! Play my carnival game some more to win new prizes to decorate your float. You can also see the parade again at any time by going to the float tent and clicking the parade sign. Have fun! Do you really want to stop playing? Yes. No. Okay. See you again next time. <laughs>